Today's video is a products I wouldn't repurchase tag. I don't like doing bad reviews on any type of products. I start this thing out with Revlon and these are the Revlon Super Luxurious Lipsticks. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought these. I bought two of them at the same time. I, I like matte lipsticks and then again I like the um, soft matte lipsticks. They're not really the type of lipsticks that I usually will go for. And some of them go on really really washy. Like they're not very pigmented. They go on like almost like a balm or a gloss. Like you have to really work with it to get it to show up. And that's not what I see. This is the orange one and this is the red one. You kind of see what I'm talking about? They go on like a balm or a gloss. And I don't really, really like that. I don't like lustrous lipsticks. I, <laughs> I figured that out by buying these bad boys. And the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. This, I like black as black can get eyeliner this it goes on black but then when it dries it dries to like this off black and gray hue is somewhere in there i don't know this ain't really tea for me like i like a a, a jet black eyeliner so the next thing i would not repurchase is the maybelline master prime eye studio eye face studio primer it's the green one it's supposed to blur pores and you know reduce the redness or whatever it didn't do anything this i couldn't tell a difference with this under my foundation and with my foundation just on without it i could not tell a difference at all it didn't blur my pores it didn't make my foundation go on smoother none of that this was none of that the next thing is the l'oreal infallible pro makeup setting extender spray uh, this is nothing but a hydration mist. It doesn't set my makeup at all. The next couple minutes I'm oily. This is a good product if you're out this summer at Disneyland or somewhere hot. You just want to, you know, refresh your face. Good thing. I wouldn't buy that again. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. This powder gives flashback like no tomorrow. And I hate it about it because it does such a good job when you're applying it and setting your foundation with it um if you're gonna bake with this my brown skin babies you're gonna look ashy so you might want to you know hold up and rethink that but um setting your makeup with it with a light hand and all that it makes the skin look so nice and airbrushed and smooth but it gives flashback like no tomorrow so when i use this up i will not be repurchasing it the next thing I wouldn't repurchase is the um, BH Cosmetics Blooming Radiance Foundation Powder Foundation. I tried them out and you know I have oily skin and a radiant foundation with extremely oily skin. It isn't going to work honey. But for me using this as a foundation, I wouldn't. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Y'all almost failed. Caught it though. Should have been a ball player. Anyway, it's the uh, BH Cosmetics 10 color palette, the blush palette. This, this palette is like the deepest shade you can go on. They go on chalky. They don't suit my skin tone. The texture of them are like chalk. I don't know. I don't like them. I'm going to be using them as eyeshadows, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Might just throw it away because I don't even use for eyeshadows. The last thing I will not be repurchasing, which is my baby, but it's the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. Because this is the old packaging here. This is the new packaging here. These are both Turks and Caicos. But the shades aren't Turks and Caicos. Like they repackage and change the color at the same time. And it is not the same shade as you can see. It's more cool tone. I can't use this as a bronzer. This was a great bronzer for my skin tone being a brown skin baby. Finding bronzers and things like that are somewhat difficult. But I, I, I pushed through it and I found me one. So I won't be repurchasing this one. Which I really really liked it a lot. I'm kind of sad about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Glamorously Edgy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.